Guys, they said Kabi Esi almost brought down Kwinami's house in Akure over her answer to the engagement ring by Captain Opebi. We know that uh, we have heard allegedly that uh, information got to Kabi Esi that uh, Kwinami have been engaged by the same person whom they say Kabi Esi have been so afraid of Kwinami uh, being friends with. We have been hearing how Kabiesi have been upset with Queen Naomi anytime he hears that Captain Okbebi came around and was with Queen Naomi. They say Kabiesi is always uncomfortable with that. Reason is because uh, Captain Okbebi is a young man, you know, uh, compared to Kabiesi's age. Secondly, uh, Captain Okbebi does not have many wives. And a woman who doesn't want polygamy will choose a man that doesn't have another wife over a man who has six wives, you know. So Kabiesi's fear is understandable. Then when it comes to money, uh, because a lot of people are saying, hey, this money, money, that. They say Captain Okbebi is three times, if not up to four times richer than Kabiesi. Mm -hmm. That the man is doing great. He is wealthy. When you talk about wealthy, as a matter of fact, this royalty self, they said he has a royal blood in him. So this will tell you that even if Kabiesi thinks that Queen Naomi will not uh, be royalty if she leaves him, uh, he might be wrong by thinking in that direction. So they said when Kabiesi got that news, Kabiesi was so disturbed, so, so disturbed that they said, the next thing he did was uh, to get his entourage and they went straight to Akure. The next day, because the, when he got that information, it was late already. They said it was the next day that he went to Akure. On getting there, they said Kwenami was there. Uh, her uncle, the one that is uh, a pastor, is there. Uh, her mother was there. Uh, this uh, her brother Benro was there, and the sister too was there. So when Kabiesi entered, he refused to sit down. The next thing the, his, the, he did was to give his uh, uh, guards signal to stay outside, of which we heard they did, and he entered inside. When he entered, Kenomi went on uh, on her knees to greet him as custom demands or as a sign of respect because despite everything that is happening, Kenomi still respects Kabiesi and uh, bows to greet him. Just like every one of them, they said they all bowed and greet him, but the rest of them stood up, but Kenomi was there. And when Kabiesi started blowing hot, Asking Kwinami, how could you? How could you do this? That who do you think, who do this uh, Opebi think that he is? That you should remember that you are my wife. That I have never collected my bride price. And that makes you my wife. That no matter where you go to, no matter who you accept ring from, you will surely return back to him. That you are his wife. And... You are nobody's uh, wife or fiance or whatever. The second BSU was very, very mad at Queen Naomi. Yet Queen Naomi was crying, telling KBS, leave my life alone. KBS, leave my life alone. Go and be with your wives. Go and be with those ones that bring different vibes to the table. That those ones that uh, murder them all go and be with them. You see, those ones that uh, have qualifications, they bring you peace, they do this, they do that. Go and be with them. The same when Nami asks Kabiesi, Did I disturb you? Have I ever come to you reminding you that you are my husband and you must do uh, anything to please me? Have I? I have noticed that you cannot do it for me. So, what is the need of being with you? That she cannot die for you. You see, the second Naomi told her that, look, I cannot die for you. Your life is moving well and you want to post my own life. That is a mistake on your side, though. It's not going to happen. That it is not going to happen. And the second BSC was very mad, telling, telling her that, look, 
You see that Captain Okwebi that he is going to show him the stuff he is made of. <laughs> That Captain Opebi will hear from him. Captain Opebi will know that he is the Kabiesie, the Arole Odudua, the first son of the gods. No, be smart, you know. They say, why all these things we are going on? Uh, the uncle was just there, looking at them. When Nomi's mother was there, looking at them. When Rode were all there, they said it was the sister who left because maybe the reason she left was uh, she might be tempted to speak in anger. And you know women. Penami is wise enough that whenever things are like this, she will just be crying, telling Kabiesi her mind. Kabiesi, leave me. Marriage is not by force. Kabiesi, stop showing me that you are bigger than me. I know you are bigger than me, but don't, don't forget that you are not bigger than my God. Kabiesi, I did not offend you. Kabiesi, I did not go against the covenant though. They said that is the things that Penami was telling him. That I did not offend you. The covenant we took together, you are the one that went there, that goes against it. You break the covenant. You will not let me go. Kabiesi, what have I done to you? Did I offend you by marrying you? Did I offend you by accepting to be your wife? Kabiesi, I don't have class. Leave me and go for those that go uh, that have class. Kabiesi, I don't have prestige. Go for those of them that brings that have that accepted you and give you peace of mind. The second army was. Telling Kabiesi all of this. And they say, Kabiesi was busy asking Kwenami, did you accept any ring from Mokwebi? Or did you not? They say Kwenami did not say yes. And Kwenami did not say no. That what she keeps saying is, Kabiesi, live my life. Leave me to move on with my life. Oh, your own life is going smoothly. You are enjoying yourself. What have I done that I cannot move on with my own life? Hmm? Have I uh, uh, committed a crime? By accepting to marry you. Kabiesi, when Wuro last married, when your marriage with Wuro last failed, you let her go. The first woman that you married, when you'd have issue with her, you, you let her go. Why would my own be different? And the second Kabiesi told Penami that, look, you go nowhere. It is me and you till do, dead do us by. <laughs> I'll be dead do us by. Don't be smart, you know. My people, they said Konami was busy begging Kabiesi, and Kabiesi was busy blowing hot, blowing hot, say, telling the mother that, can, so you are aware of this, and you allow it to happen, that he knows that that is the uncle's decision, that the uncle does not like him. The uncle, yeah, they said the uncle was just there. They could not say anything. And a lot of people are saying that the reason why they were quiet happens to be because of the respect they have for that post that Kabiesi is occupying, not because they respect Kabiesi, because with his attitude, he have uh, betrayed the trust and respect they have for him. But they are now respecting the throne that he occupies as their spiritual leader. That if not, <laughs> they would have ganged up there and flogged him. But you know that that cannot happen because they respect the throne a whole lot. Anyway, guys, that is what we are hearing. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.